Hey guys, if you've seen my other fake versus real Scotty Cameron Potter video, I just wanted to kind of elaborate on the fake and real Scotty Cameron head covers. Here I have a couple of special event head covers from Scotty Cameron, and at first glance they do look very real, but I'm just going to go over a couple of small details that will help you distinguish uh, the fakes from the real ones. As far as I know, all special event head covers do not come in packaging like this. They all come with putters, so if you do find one with the packaging, that's a clear sign of a fake. For the tags inside the head cover, in my previous video I did say to look for these for authenticity. But just looking at the tag on my authentic head cover, they almost look identical to the fake ones. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they use the same tag. On the right there you see the fake made in USA tag with the flag there and on the left there that's the real one inside the head cover that came with my Golo. And as you can see you can barely see a difference. On the other side of the tag you'll notice the exclusively for Titleist logo and again these look identical. The only thing I did notice is that on the fake one, the tag is actually 180 degrees the other ways. And here are the tags just side by side. The one on the left is the real one, and the one on the right is the fake one. The made by is just covered on the real one by the fluff. On the inside of the head cover, they got the stitching down and the material down as well. As you can see on the Velcro, they even have the X pattern and I can't really notice a difference between the material used on the inside and here again the real one with that same stitching and that same uh, material that they use on the inside. Now onto the outside of the head cover. At first glance it does look very realistic but if you compare it up against the real one in the background on my computer there you'll notice that the font is a lot bigger on the fake one so definitely Pay attention to the font of the lettering, as well as small imperfections such as, you know, threads not being cut and things like that. Again, on the other side, you'll notice that the font is just a little bit bigger, as well as there is no black border around the box. So again, just really small details, but if you're not looking, they could easily slip by you. On the top of the head cover, there are actually a lot of differences. The main one being the sunglasses are stitched a lot differently on the real one. But uh, as you can see, the claw, it's yellow instead of gray there. The bottom of the claw should be gray. There should be a red line there that says NorCal above it. Uh, the sunglasses again should be different stitching. The claw top should be brownish gray instead of yellow. And uh, the crab legs there should be some black lines on there as well. So again, just really small differences, but it's gonna get you into a lot of trouble. All right guys, thanks for watching, and I hope that these small tips can help you avoid buying fakes out there. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the sections below.